Okay, so hello everybody, it is Xavier Taylor here, and do you remember what Office computers looked like in 2017? That was only last year. Okay, so hello everybody, it is Xavier Taylor here, and do you remember what 2007 Office PCs looked like for $379? A little something like this. That's really heavy. So here before you is the ancient 11-year-old Dell Vostro 220S. A 2007 Office PC. So yes, I know what you're saying. This computer is shit old and it looks nothing like what this is. And this was made in 2018. Well, <laughs> my stepdad brought this home for me. Along with a mouse, a keyboard, and what I think uh, was the original monitor upon purchase. So yeah, I'm just going to be going over specs of this. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet. Whether to sell it as a PC whether to sell it for parts. I'm kind of tempted, there's a hard drive in here. So I might salvage it into my build. <laughs> okay, so on the front right door, we have a five and a quarter inch drive bay populated with a DVD ROM thing. I forgot what they're called. That's a thing you don't see on cases nowadays, which I thoroughly miss because I really want a case with a five and a quarter inch drive bay because those things are awesome and they're just handy because this one, what does this have? So you can just stick in DVDs or CDs and hey, you've got it going. Where's this fucker? No, it's got tempered glass. It's got RGB lights. It has no top mounting fans. This one does. <laughs> this one has a top mounted fan. So yeah, that's a sign of its old age, I guess. <laughs> Another sign of its ancientness is on the left door, you find a two and a half inch drive bay, which I kind of get open. These things were used for, usually for um, extra USBs and stuff. Like you just have a whole row of USBs. This one isn't actually populated with anything, but the door is very nice. It is a clicky, so when you click it, it pops open and it slides around. and kind of goes very stylishly nicely on the side of the grill there. I know it's only a door, but I like it. <laughs> and it's a satisfying click as well. So underneath these two dead-ass fuck drive bays, we find ourselves a old Dell logo, power button, two USB 2.0s, 3.5mm audio and microphone jacks and two stickers that you thought you'd never see again core 2 duo and windows vista feel old yet <laughs> okay so what i don't understand about this is that on the back here we have two ps2 connectors even though both the keyboard and the mouse are usbs so for visual outputs we have a vga port a i don't know what the fuck that is next to it four usb 2.0s standard old lan and microphone, sound, and other sound uh, audio jacks, that's the words. Underneath them, we have four low-profile expansion ports with a, I think, micro ATX power supply. I don't know if that's a thing, but the power supply inside here is a ATX. And most modern power supplies are ATXs. So is this a micro ATX? I don't know. So this power supply only has three screws screwed into the case, whereas modern-day power supplies have four, I think. I think it's four. I can't remember, honestly. I think it's four. Correct me if I'm wrong. And also a weird LED indication light that when plugged in and running, it flashes. I I think that's a good idea. Like, power supplies of today should have that. Because that's a good thing for if you're bareboarding a system. Then at least you know that there's power and it's not the power supply that's faulty. A lot of the time, people can, like, test their systems and they won't work. But it could be their power supply. And then they spend a lot of money upgrading their system and it's just a power supply so I think an in LED indication light should be added to modern day power supplies but hey that's just my opinion I'm a nobody so on the back here we have the option to lock in a padlock because when these things were made they were made for they were pre-builds for offices like so they're office pre-builds so if somebody comes into the building and you know opens up this computer they're gonna find fucking Depending on what business it is, it can find everything about everybody. Okay, so this left side panel here has four rubber feet because most of the time these PCs would have been laid down horizontally with the monitor on top and the keyboard and mouse next to it just to save space. Like, that's school setups. So that's how we have it. So on the right side panel, there is a space not for a fan. It is purely for ventilation. There, You cannot install a fan on it. I don't know how big it is. But you can't install a fan on it like some 2007 gaming computers where this side panel had the uh, ventilation which you can then place a fan on. To be honest, I kind of prefer 
compared to these cases. I think a lot of these cases should bring back the side mounted um, fan purely because it's just extra airflow and it, with a specific fan it could probably look cool as well because that's what computers are all about these days. And yes, this one here is tied up with an orange ribbon. I wanted to do a padlock, you saw it in the b-roll, there was a padlock, that's because I went out and got one. But this one here doesn't, because I was in my room and I thought, fuck it, I'm going to make it look pretty. And this was the first thing that I found, so don't judge me. Okay, so on the top of this PC there is mounted a 80mm fan, which I think a lot of these cases now should also have the feature for. Not necessarily boast about it, but that option should still be there, purely because they're cheap and they are fairly effective. Ish. But still, an 80mm fan is better than no fan. <laughs> okay, so as this PC actually is, it's quite, you know, square, with just this front bit just seemingly clumped on the front of it, with what looks to be airflow grill vent things, which actually, if you put a light to one of the sides of it and stick your hand on the other side, you can see it, which kind of, it, it doesn't make sense, because if there's, I don't know why they're there. There is only one, two fans in this system, and there's one there, and there's one there, by the for the CPU stock fan. So why they're there, I don't actually know. And also, because this was actually used in an office, there is a bunch of stickers. So, what does the inside of this fucker look like from 11 years ago? To find out, we have to remove two thumb screws from the right side panel, and voila! Confession. I have opened this PC. Me and Marshmallow, when I first got this, she was round. So I thought, fuck it, let's go upstairs and let's open it. And we did, and fucking hell is it dusty. We tried to wipe, wet wipe it down, but as you can kind of see from like the top of the case and the grills, it's still quite fucking dusty. And inside, I'm sure, is no different, considering it's been sat here for the past month without me having a chance to record a video. But wait, before we open this case, I just want to say, this is the second time I've recorded this video. So last night, I sat here for three hours recording a video of this, basically what I just said. And I accidentally deleted all of the files because I'm an idiot. I put the SD card from the camera into my laptop and then transferred all those files onto my USB and then what I do is from there, I plug the USB into there, and then this is where I edit them all. I didn't put them onto the PC. My USB was sat right there when I did it. I thought I'd transfer them over. I didn't. Not only that, but I deleted it from the SD card inside the camera. They're gone. Now, yes, I know you can download softwares that go through all the systems and dig it out. But by the time I got to that stage, only a handful of stuff was able to be recovered. Most of it was a red with unrecoverable written on them. There was a handful on green and the other scoopful were in red because they had already been written over by Windows. But it's fine. What I did manage to get back was this awesome B-roll shot that you're looking at right now. I know it looks awesome. Also, the thumbnail for this video, the raw image, not the one that you saw before you clicked on it. And also, this thing here. You notice this is extremely clean when you're looking at it, yeah? Well, that's because I took the plastic wrap off. Yes, people, this has had plastic wrap on it since it was bought 11 years ago. But you know what the good thing is? There's another bit here. So I can still say I unwrapped the plastic off of it on camera. So yeah, guys, let's unwrap it. Okay guys, yes I'm blurry, but you ready to do it? Let's go. I wanna see this. <laughs> oh, how good was that? Okay guys, so yes, I know how satisfying was that. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, I know. I thought that was the only plastic wrap left on it. But it's not. See this little bit here? That's the last bit. So let's do this. The last bit. Hopefully it is, anyway. There's been a lot of it. <laughs> so, yeah. I fucked up.
But it's fine, because I just recorded all this now in 20 minutes. So now we're going to take off the thumb screws and we are going to have a look inside this 11 year old's worth of dust, minus a few, inside the computer. But not right now, because I have to wait for the next time Marshmallow comes around so that I can open it up and actually have somebody to hold the camera. It just makes it so much easier then because if I have that on a tripod looking down at the computer here, then that's the only camera this that's the only camera I have. I don't have anything looking at me, so I can't really talk because it the only camera focus is on the computer. So next time Marshmallow's around I'm gonna get her to hold the camera and point it between the computer and me. So yeah, that's gonna be fun. Okay, so after the transition, it will probably be like in the next few days so I won't be riding this the light conditions probably won't be this good because this is like it's 20 past 4 on spring in spring so it's quite light outside so the lighting conditions probably aren't gonna be that good but anyway fade